Let's learn how to combine two objects together to create one, one object, uh, specifically this bunny ear tag, something to look like this. Um, if you purchase our SVG file set from our shop, you'll be receiving a set of four. It'll come with um, the bunny ear cutout, uh, the full bunny cutout, and then uh, or the two full. So for this demonstration, we're going to um, start off by writing out the word of the name. So the first one, first example I want to show is the name Avery. And then the second one we will do is Louie. All right, so here are the words. For this example, we need to have two of these cutouts. So in order to duplicate, you could copy paste or you can um, click Alt on your keyboard and drag over that icon and then let go and it'll make, an op uh, it'll make a duplicate copy. Let's start off by uh, creating an outline of the word um, Command-Shift-O and then use Pathfinder to unite the, all the letters together. We'll do the same thing for Louie and combine. Now uh, for Avery, it looks a little bit fragile, um, a little bit thin. So we want to make sure that the path or the outline of the name is thick enough so that um, it doesn't break. So we're going to use the strokes to outline it um, to see what it'll look like to be a little bit thicker. And I think I'll go with um, stroke uh, three points. And once I have that, I will then go to object, path, and outline stroke. Uh, I will then use the pathfinder, unite, to make that all um, one piece or one name. Once I do that, I'll go back to this bunny and adjust to um, where I want to position the name and let's see I think I like it right there I will then uh, come uh, highlight both the bunny and the name we're going to use Pathfinder then the unite button to create one whole consecutive piece so once this goes to the Glowforge it will cut out as one entire unit And then I wanted to show you um, the word Louie. We'll keep uh, Louie for another info. But for Louie, um, we see that the L and the O are not combined. So I'm actually going to um, highlight the name. I'm going to ungroup it. That way we can move around or maneuver all the words. So I'm going to put it like here. I think that's where I want that. Um, so we're going to then highlight this and we'll use Pathfinder to connect the L to the O. You also notice, or you may also notice that the, um, the eye or the dot on the eye and the eye are not connected. So if we were to cut this out, um, we'd, we'd essentially lose that dot. So first I'm going to um, use the stroke to make this thicker. I'll go with three points like I did for uh, Avery. So we'll go back to object, path, outline, stroke, and then go to Pathfinder, Unite. Then I'm actually going to use this pencil tool and I'm going to draw a line from the O down to the I. So it doesn't look like much right now, but I'll then use stroke to thicken that line to where I want what I want it to be. So I think I like it at the three point for this also. 
Um, I'll then go to object again and we're going to outline this path or outline the stroke and then um, combine the highlight all of the wording so that you get all three pieces and uh, unite that as well. So now this is one piece. We're going to bring it back to um, oops. we're going to bring it back to our bunny rabbit outline and we'll make it a tad smaller. So here we go. So um, this is what it'll look like. We will then highlight uh, the name and the bunny and again use Pathfinder Unite to combine that together. I also wanted to show you that if you were to cut out um, using this other um, template that we have, um, when you do have your name aligned to object before you send it over to Glowforge you want to change um, the color of the writing or the text uh, different from uh, the path that you want cut that way the Glowforge can differentiate what um, each one should be so here we will make it let's say green all right so Perfect. All right, so here are the three different um, settings or the names that we did. We're going to send, uh, save this file and then we're going to go over to the Glowforge. All right, when you're in your Glowforge, you are going to upload a new file of that SVG that you just created or um, recreated. So let me pick that up. We're going to cut out these bunnies um, and then this last one we'll engrave it. I like to have my um, my wood engravings to be a little bit on the lighter side. So here's the setting that I use for my birch, uh, birch pie wood and um, this is what for a quarter inch. Hope this tutorial was helpful and if you get a chance to try this out, let me know. Thanks!